Dr. Nicole Eisenbrown with Advanced Urology Institute. Well, incontinence is very, very common, um, and there's a, many different types of incontinence, and I think that's a big uh, misunderstanding among even physicians, but certainly the lay community, that, that the loss of urine is not just all one diagnosis. There are multiple reasons why women can leak urine, and understanding that is the key to treating it. Um, the two most common types of incontinence are uh, stress incontinence and urge incontinence. And most women actually come in with both, which may be the probably the most common reason why people don't think they were helped with their problem because only one of them was addressed. Uh, stress incontinence um, comes from weakness of the tissue from pregnancy and vaginal delivery and hysterectomies and just gravity working on us. Um, and it doesn't have anything to do with the stress in your life. It's a physical external pressure on your bladder. So you cough, laugh, sneeze, and that kind of is like squeezing a water balloon and forces urine out the opening. But urge urine incontinence, on the other hand, has nothing to do with what the patient is doing, but what their bladder is doing. Um, the bladder knows how to empty itself all by itself. I mean, that's how we urinated when we were babies. And we learned to control that with, uh, um, you know, learning to control different muscles. And we do that with our pelvic floor muscles. Um, so when the bladder starts becoming overactive again, it's usually because the pelvic floor muscles are weakened and we're no longer strong enough to control those impulses. So we normally uh, treat that with pelvic floor strengthening uh, or medications. Um, there are other procedures that are available for it, uh, but we try the simpler things first. But what treats stress incontinence does not treat overactive bladder, and what treats overactive bladder does not fix stress incontinence.